Home, 10 Rand 432, and today we're going to be taking a break from the regular schedule and uh, not going to the next stage and taking on Sigma, but we're going to go back in time and find some Easter eggs in Flame Mammoth stage. Okay, so we're back in time and all, some of the bosses are back. I believe this is episode 3, or went back to where we were in episode 3, but anyway, we're going to go to Flame Mammoth. The only reason I'm going back in time, uh, I'll explain later. <laughs> it was a really funny glitch. But anyway, we're in Flame Mammoth stage, and so what we're gonna try to do... I'm just gonna move forward a little. Okay, so you can actually get into the wall here, if you climb on top of those heads. And then, you can kinda see his feet up there. And then if you keep going, one strange thing I found was that the Dr. Light capsule will disappear because we don't have the arm parts yet back here. Uh, but yeah, it's not appearing in there. What is that? That is a sub tank, people. That is supposed to be a sub tank. And the background here is green because we did the glitch. I'm not exactly sure why. Don't ask me. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an Easter egg or a glitch or whatever. But there's that broken sub tank. Now it's fixed in our menu. And also in this room is now a bottomless pit down there, so you will die if you fall like I just did. So that's strange. So I'm back and I'm above the ceiling and I'm just gonna try to jump over there. Okay, and the Matars are invisible. All the enemies... Well, there are different effects you can get when you do this glitch, but in this one, the enemies seem to have disappeared completely and I cannot see them at all. So there's the miners. The miners will actually keep throwing pickaxes from below you, even though it's a bottomless pit down there. So they're still positioned, you can barely see their heads. But so that's so that sucks. But anyway, if you go back, then everything's back to normal. Everything is normal and fine, and I'm going back to the level. Back through the level. Well, let's try going through the ceiling again. Come on, I got this. Shouldn't be that hard. I'll just go back all the way then. Why not? Come on. There we go. Okay, so now we're back up. I discovered this Easter egg on YouTube. Oh, I fell out. I discovered this Easter egg on YouTube, so whoever whoever found it, um, thank them. So I skipped, and there is the Dr. Light capsule. Right there, that monstrosity of the thing. And if you can see that Dr. Light capsule, then it means one more thing. The enemies have changed in the special room from invisible to even more monstrosity sis monstrosity ish ish ish. Yeah, I'm just I don't know what I'm saying. But there's them and uh, the miners. Oh, they they look strange. They there they are. Don't they look beautiful with their pickaxes throwing? green background perfectly matches. So yeah, that's them. And there they are down there throwing our picks throwing their pickaxes, although we can't even get out down there, so that's horrible. But yeah, uh, that's all for this Easter egg. But let's let's try to find the next one. After I take out that map. Alright, back to the future. Why not we? Alright, so now we're back and we're next we're gonna go do armored armadillo stage. This next one is actually pretty fun uh, to get, but anyway, get off the cart, and then there's that bat that I was saying drops lots of extra lives, way more than any other enemy, or the chance of dropping an extra life. But anyway, I'm just going to skip until I have nine lives, and that way you don't have to watch me keep killing this bat. There we are, and that's nine. So, yeah, nice. So let's continue on to the next part. There is a reason you will need all the lives. There is a very good reason. So you just want to head on, keep going through the stage like normal. Pretty easy. Easy stuff. Go through. And then just for speed purposes, I'm going to run through this really quick. I could be a speedrunner someday, but I'm not the best in the game. 
let's just run through fast as possible. And then I messed up there. No. If you can hear that in the background, I, I'm not sure because when I'm recording my commentary I can't hear the audio. But there might have been an explosion back there and you will be might be wondering what it is. And it was the little mining machine blowing up. There's spikes and it lands on the spikes and blows up. Anyway, here's the second one. There's a checkpoint right up there, so I don't really have to worry about dying. So after you get to that checkpoint, just take out this like, spiky mine machine. Continue on. Get on the cart. And I fell off for some reason. Maybe I was drinking Sprite. I don't know. And then I'm not sure why I climbed off that wall there. Um, get on the cart. Shoot, shoot some times. And then try to shoot all these birds out of the sky. Not sure if it makes a difference in getting the, I mean, surprise. Um, but you're gonna want to take those out and then jump. I jumped at the wrong time. You're supposed to land on the top of the cliff, so you don't have to do this very difficult wall jump. And then you're gonna take this health, and then you're gonna commit mega suicide. There we go. Now you're going to want to repeat this process about five times, and that is how we will get the surprise easter egg, and I'm just going to skip, that way you don't have to watch me die five times, and now I have four lives. I'm on the cart, almost there, in the skip, sorry about that, and I think I've got this down after playing it five times, playing through this section five times. Just jump, and there it is. Dr. Light is wearing... I don't know. Is that Ryu's costume from the Street Fighter? I give now give you a special present. Enter the capsule, please. Will do, Mr. Dr. Light. Mr. Dr. Light. What a title. Let's see what we get. Apparently it's an arm part, as our arm. Man. What is it? Ah, oh, you heard that, right? I'm, I'm sure you heard that. I was, I'm probably drinking Sprite right now. That's why I'm not trying to recreate the new thing. But if you do down forward and then punch. You can actually do the Hadouken from Street Fighter, and it kills all enemies in one hit. Now the only downside to this is you can only use it at full health, so that that's not the best, but that's, that's all I'll do for today. Have a good day, people. Peace and sheep. Like and subscribe, and bye.